It's bunky week. I've never felt more useless in my life. Start working on the roof. If you know what animal that is, let me know. My whole plan, my original plan is totally out the window. So I've been here since last Saturday and I've got nothing built yet. There were a couple of these um, wall banks as well that were uh, starting to warp a little bit because they got a little bit damp. <laughs> Wonder how that happened. So yesterday I had a bit of a meltdown. I am really fed up right now. And I know it's, it's these, these things just happen, but and I feel like I'm falling behind. So when you're trying to make progress, and then something else happens along the way. And uh, like historically, I've, I've had a, a bit of an issue with anxiety and panic attacks. And I've managed to keep them under control for, for quite a while. But yesterday, everything kind of compounded. Just got to the point where it put me into analysis paralysis. So with the trailer issues, the realization that leveling the ground for the bunky is going to be a shit ton more work. I spoke to a guy who we've used before for contracting. He's going to get in touch with me again today about bringing some machinery in. Now that's not going to be until Monday if they can do it. So then that gives me, today's Thursday, so it gives me four days to do something. My whole plan, my original plan, is totally out the window. And then the other option is putting up the bathroom bunkie, which is a much smaller bunkie, and it's going in a slightly different place. I just dropped the trailer off for them to take a look at it. He's going to give me a call next week. Uh, in the meantime, we decided that uh, we're going to try and press ahead with the bathroom bunky build because the, um, the foundation is slightly different. So I just got to run and grab some 4x4 posts for that one. I had a call or a text from the guy with the bobcats. He's going to be able to come out and level the area where the bunky is actually going to go. I should have had that done regardless. And I know. My dad actually said to me, why don't you just get somebody to come in and level it for you? And me being me, I'm like, sure, well, yeah, I could do it. I'll just do it myself. Until I actually started doing it myself and I realized that's a lot of work. The, the frustrating part about all of this is because we're like, our place is an hour, hour and 15 away from the main areas. Anytime I need to go and do anything, like run to town, drop this trailer off, go and get some lumber. It's always like a big chunk of the day to go out and do this. To do the, uh, the bathroom bunky, it is a six by six floor plan. So each of the concrete uh, post pads that we have need to be one at each corner and then it's kind of across in the middle for a total of nine. So I'm going to reappropriate or redistribute some that I have for the main bunkie because I can't use those till Monday anyway uh, so I'll have to go and buy nine more. The plan is to lay them out as they should be, dig down and just remove the, the topsoil fill it with gravel, compress it, and then as long as the actual pads themselves are level, I'm going to use uh, the 4x4 four, four four posts to actually level out um, over the landscape rather than deal with trying to level each pad to itself.
Perfect. Ish. One down. Eight more to go. I am aware that these are going to settle a little bit as well. So let's keep an eye on it throughout the, the build. So this is the one of the problems that I was kind of concerned about running into when I was doing the main bunkie and why I asked for some help from a guy with a, a big machine. Look at the size of this root. It's right where I want to put one of the support pavers. So you don't see this every day. When I was excavating this little hole here and I found, I don't know, is that a moose? Look at the size of that jawbone I just dug up. Now, there were some bones around here uh, a while back that uh, mouse wanted me to move. And I could never find them again. Every time I walked around trying to find them, I couldn't remember which tree they were at. If you know what animal that is, let me know. What is that, nearly 16 inches? Wow. All right, so now I've got this, uh, this corner one in here and I've matched the two to each other. So these are exactly 35 and a half uh, from board to board, outer edges. Uh, so those two are parallel and then the previous two were parallel as well. <sighs> so all these blocks are in the right place. Footings are complete. That is an achievement. High five. If you high five. High five. <coughs> so I've been here since last Saturday and I've got nothing built yet. So I had a chat with Mouse this morning because I was feeling a little bit anxious and she reminded me that you know it's one of those things where i always try to make things absolutely perfect it doesn't have to be perfect it has to be good enough at the end of the day really what we're building here is two sheds it's not a mission critical thing try it so we, yes they've got all the the blocks in line for the but for the bathroom bunky we're going to be taking the bathroom shed. We're going to be taking uh, one of the four by fours and cutting into uh, 10 inch pieces and then put, put, putting each one in to, the, uh, to the, the paver blocks. And then I'm going to be leveling them off or, or marking them where the level is on them and then cutting them again at that point so that when it's done, we should have a varying height of each uh, post, but the top of them should all be level to each other. That's my plan uh, of how to combat the, uh, the uneven ground. One of the problems with this little Ryobi saw that I got years ago, and if you saw one of our previous episodes where I did the deck stairs, the battery overheats really quickly. And as I only have one battery, I'm not going to wait for it to cool down. After a quick run into town to grab some water and rent a miter saw, we've now got all the blocks in place. So what I'm going to do is put a chalk line around, uh, get it level, so I know where to cut each uh, individual leg, stump, whatever. Uh, and then I should be able to get them all level at the same time. So, if this is correct, I should be able to put a, uh, the log on here, and it's going to be level. Oh, thank God for that. Go and check this out. Hooray! 
That is close enough for me. Mm, awesome. Time for the grand unboxing of the bathroom bunky. There it is. There's Betty. It's even got that new bunky smell. All right, I'm going to take the rest of the day to actually get this moved up to the uh, to the build site, uh, and I will catch in with you later. No, I'll check in with you later. No idea what a catch in is. I've officially been here for seven days. I was thinking this morning, how do I feel about that? I wanted to try and build these bunkies just to see, hey, you know, I did it, I built these bunkies, these were awesome, did it by myself. And it's funny because uh, even at Bunky Life, they say it's, like it's, a, it's, a, it's a group effort, it's, um, it's a family effort, it's meant to bring people closer, it's meant to be a, a build, for people to do as a project together, but logistics of a lot of stuff here is just uh, pretty, I like I said difficult, because there's a lot more difficult things than this, but it's just uh, cumbersome is the best word to describe it. I've got all the parts broken out into what they are just in time for it to start raining. Uh, first thing is I've got to put the floor sleepers on uh, across the, uh, the floor joists that we built yesterday. Get those anchored down. Make sure it's all square. Then we can actually start building this bunkie. Perfect. 101 each diagonal, six foot square. Perfect. Foundation is done. What a momentous moment. I was gonna try and find you somewhere relatively dry to, uh, to watch from. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh. I'm gonna sit you right in here. You know what? We're gonna take a break because this is just ridiculous. I'll see you in a sec. So if I wasn't frustrated, anxious and annoyed before, oh, I broke my bucket. Oh man. Half an hour later, it seems to have calmed off a little bit. I just had a real problem trying to get the door opening right. Because obviously there's nothing there to square it off against. The door inside channel is 33 and a half inches. That's the minimum it's going to need. Uh, but obviously it's still got to fit when it gets to the top, the, uh, the planks that go across the top. So I used an existing uh, wall plank just to put it across there to get them lined up properly. And now my, my door is exactly 33 and a half. So I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but it made me get the right measurement across there. Yeah. 
just got off the phone with Bunky Life Support. Uh, I was a little concerned that if I continued screwing all the corners, I'd run out of screws. And it turns out that if you want to, you can, but you guys have to provide your own screws. That's good to know. So um, apparently what we need to do is just continue building them up. And then we use the hurricane straps at the end to cinch everything down and tie it together. As you can see, it's raining again. This was the 30% chance of rain. But still, I got some work done between the, uh, the quiet spot of the last rainstorm and this rainstorm. Let me show you how far I got because I had to go and charge cameras and phones and stuff. So that's where we're at right now. We've got a few more layers to go to get to the top of the door. And then uh, once we're at the top of the door, we can then start working on the roof. There was one minor little bit that I had an issue with over here. See, there's a very slight, very slight gap there. Um, and I did try pounding that down and I used a ratchet strap as well. And I'm hoping that overall it's gonna be not too much of an issue, but there were a couple of these um, wall planks as well that were uh, starting to warp a little bit um, or bend a little bit so whether or not that's because they got a little bit damp <laughs> wonder how that happened um, but uh, it means that uh, when you bang it in you have to kind of help them in and twist them a little bit to get them into place but I started screwing everything in on the corners as they went hopefully that's all gonna be good um, so while it's raining we've got the generator on charging things up again oh good news mouse is on her way out for the night so uh, she's going to come and hang out with me for a little bit uh maybe ease my loneliness a little that sounded really bad but uh no <laughs> what i mean is have some company if that sounds any better i don't know I should have really videoed a bit more on the lead up to this, but hello, now I'm here. I decided to take a little road trip to join Matt and bring him some extra food and bring him some clean clothes. And what else did I bring? Some extra smooches. <laughs> some extra smooches. <laughs> um, and the important things in life. Oh, and I brought sour gummies. I got sour gummies too, because I like sour gummies. <laughs> it's not about you, it's about me. <laughs> Um, it's about you having a, you're on a road trip, right? You're getting away from the kids. Just, <laughs> just, just mouse in her little, little mouse mobile. <laughs> like, woo. So I'm here. Brought up the tablet with a movie on too, so we can watch a movie tonight. Because it's a little bit wet and mosquito-y. So but we've just been out for a nice anniversary dinner. We've been out for an amazing meal. Yeah. Is it the so, red something? The red, red grill? Red river the, rock? Rock, red, red rock. I don't know. Uh, uh, There's a place in town and our server was amazing and we had a really nice meal. Jazz. Jazz. She was awesome. Love her. Maybe I'll see you in the morning before I have to bob back off to do my motherly duties. All right, there's Mouse sporting her rather sexy incognito hat. Check this little fella out. He's a cheeky one. He doesn't want to go in. You never know it's broken. Pivot it into place. Pivot! Oh. The excavator guy has just shown up. Apparently, not a problem. 